Hello, I'm the Resolute Cartographer, and this is the 127th video in my Fallout 76 Surveil series, and here we are at Appalachian Antiques. You can see this sign up there. Uh, we can take a look at the map where we are. We're here in the mire. I actually put a little camp here to make it faster to travel here. I love this new uh, multi-camp system, because I can then put one down wherever the weirdest site is that I have to go. Not that this site is all that weird, actually. It's just, it's, uh... I'm trying to put them wherever it is that they're far from a free fast travel point. This one's not actually that bad, but neither was the uh, abandoned bunker from Fort Atlas. Anyway, though, let's take a look around here. So you can see off in the distance we got Watoga. That, uh, that city actually plays an important role in this site. Along with that, there's the Allegheny Asylum that turned into uh, Fort Defiance, the monorail elevator up there, and we got the monorail actually running past us here. So let's take a look here. Uh, the enemies you're going to find here, feral ghouls, and of course also a single mole rat in the back. There are dead Brotherhood of Steel members here. These were scouts that were looking over this location. They used this place as a uh, as a place to kind of hide out after their ra their raids of Otoga. If we come in here, you can see what looks like a whole bunch of old furniture. And it looks like it was antique even at the time of this place, uh, you know, operating 26 years ago. And, uh... The truth of the matter is, this stuff is not antiques, and we're going to find out about that as we go through here. In terms of the plants you're going to find here, you're also going to find uh, wild carrot flowers. And I, uh, not plants, but I also found wood piles as well, some collectible notes. Uh, let's take a look uh, around this little area. we got a couple of beds. Back here we got a, uh, a manager's terminal. We're going to read all that stuff. Hollow tape here going well. A safe. Uh, and then there's also a hollow tape upstairs. We go up here. Dead wind to go. Okay, and uh, typically you're going to either find a Wendigo up here or you're going to find a glowing uh, feral ghoul. And there again is another Brotherhood corpse and a uh, holotape. So, knowing where all these things are, let's start off with the going well holotape. Things are going well. Those Watogan Society ladies are falling over themselves to buy my merchandise. I've had to resort to distressing things myself. Seems to be working. I want to be able to move to Watoga myself soon enough. This continues. So yeah, uh, the, the Watogans, they wanted antique furniture. She didn't have enough, so she just started making antique furniture by distressing uh, modern furniture. Uh, we can actually see the little workshop she was working in back here. There's a bed there. Some more furniture here. And back in this little shed is where she would actually distress the furniture. At least that's the way I've taken it. This shed is also this right here. This combat shotgun and this ammo box were brought here by the Brotherhood of Steel. Uh, let's see. we got a sleeping bag here. You can potentially find a magazine right here. And along with that, you can potentially find a weapon mod right here. Okay. Uh, heading back over this way. I'm going to consider the anywhere within the fence to be part of this site. So we can come over this way. You can see that where this new little river has run through. Here's the uh, western fence here. Dumpster, porta potty with some medicine and a cooler. Let me come back inside. There's some legitimately good junk around here. I'll show the full list when we get to the end of the video, obviously. Okay, and then why don't we uh, go ahead and look at the uh, terminal here? Okay, so we got Watoga customers. I can't believe I'm writing this, but Watoga has been the best thing for business that ever happened here. Those rich snobs will buy anything with the words antique next to it. And receipt for wood furniture. Dear Appalachian Antiques, confirmation for your order of five new dining room sized tables, 20 chairs, all fresh cut from pine. In answer to your question, yes, of course we can use distressing techniques to give the furniture an older look. We look forward to working with you. So it definitely seems like this uh, company that's manufacturing the furniture was in on it too. Uh, safe control, which again would open up uh, this safe right over here. Uh, let's head upstairs. And here we have the Brother to Steel holotape, Brother, Brother to Steel report, antique store. Scouting report, Brotherhood Squire Schultz. This old antique store has been a good source of supplies. Stashed some weapons and ammo in the shed out back. Scavenging runs into Watoga have been mixed. The 
Robots are everywhere, and you never know when a turret is going to pop out of its hiding place and start filling the area with lead or laser fire. I really should have paid more attention during training. All right. Uh, now, along with that, we just walked out on the roof through that wall, and you can potentially find a bobblehead right here. Okay, well, why don't we go ahead and take a look at all of the uh, junk and loot you can find here. Well, that should do it. This has been the Irresolute Cartographer. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again next time.